business on your looks, you stay in your talent. She's staying on her talent. She's got a lot of it. But uh, it's gonna it should be Molea Kuis because the, she's supposed to be that she was a co star in the Black Swan, not you know, not a supporting role. She is the co star. Actually she is the star. But they put they can only put one. Well, because Portman has a bigger name. Yeah. For one thing, and part of it, I I don't know about where you are, but I know here in L.A. they did put in the papers how they tried to create a uh, adversarial role between the two of them. Yeah. So and. And, and there's friends. And Portman is basically the name Kunis is, and so they basically they took the name over the non-name, and generally the non-name always wins the Oscar and all these awards. So. Mm -hmm. But could, but they said because Portman is a veteran, she's a child star. She's been around for since she was about this tall. It's just she, it's her time for everything. So do you think they'll give it to both of them? For yeah, Black Swan? probably okay. the Black Swan, because okay. the Black Swan has the most nominations of anything ever being given nominations. Oh. Best performance by an actor supporting a motion picture: Christian Bell, The Fighter; Michael Douglas, Wall Street; Andrew Garfield, The Social Network; Jeremy Reiner, The Town; and Jeffrey Rush, The Cake Speech. It'll probably be Michael Douglas. I'm thinking Michael Douglas because he's sick and. And they're <laughs> wanting to. I mean, and they want him there. And, and they want like, his father to be there. His yeah. father will come out and do you know, this. is my son. Yeah. They probably <laughs> okay. Here's the tip off. I'll give you that night. If Kurt Douglas comes out to give the award. You know that Michael's getting yeah. it, and Michael Douglas is uh, okay. He's never going to be the same, though, even if he recovered because he had throat cancer. Right, which means his his acting voice is gone. I mean, mean, this is in a way almost like a um, they're a career. They're they're uh, rewarding him. For he's his already body work. he's got a best actor, best production, best movie. What was but this one nomination for? This is Wall Street. No, no, no. For what? Uh, Wall Street. A best performance. Oh, best right, performance, actor and supporting role. role. Yeah. And he, he was the star, folks. Yeah. It's his movie. Yeah. No, it was just, uh, you know, they put the co-star. Or sometimes they put Nobody the remembers who the, who, the, who the other person was. But, no, but the, Douglas has been acting for five decades now. Mm -hmm. And this would be his, you know, his sending off into the sunset. Yeah, I would think he would get it. Best Director, Motion Picture, Darren, Darren Nagroski, Black Swan, David Fisher, The Social Network, Tom Hooper, The King's Speech, Christopher Nolan, Inception, and David O. Uh, Russell, The Fighter. They said it's probably going to be the, they, they, they said it, it, the odds are in favor it's The Black Swan. Right. Why? Well, because it's, it's, got it's got 12 nominations. Ones. It's basically winning across the board. Okay. They had originally thought it was going to be 127 days. For hours? For 127 hours, but instead what's happening is the Black Swan is basically wiping everybody out. Well, in the next category, Best Screenplay for a Motion Picture, um, they did nominate 127 hours as Danny Boyle and Simon Bolfrey, right? Yeah. The kids are all right with Lisa. Oh. Inception. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa and Stewart. Inception with Christopher Nolan. The King's Speech with David. Uh, it, it'll be Aaron. It will be Aaron, Aaron Sorkin, Sorkin on the social, social network, network because he 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 hates Republicans and basically this is an attack against the wealthy. So you know, I I also don't know is um, best screenplay is how much um, how shall we say uh, because they didn't really want this movie to come out. No. The founder of Facebook didn't. That's so right. So I don't know and how much. And it came out, I guess, to basically, the movie's not going to make any money because by the time he gets done suing them in court, they'll be so busted. Mm -hmm. But um, best original score motion picture, Alexander Displot, The King's Speech, Danny Elfman, Alice in Wonderland, A.I. Reisman, 127 Hours, Trent Reiser, Artist Ross, Social Network, and Hans Zimmer, Inception. It's going to be... Uh, it'd be Danny Elfman because it's his like turn. Danny Elfman. It's his time. This guy has been writing music forever. A long he's wrote, time. I mean, I mean, he's also been in front of him. Anybody remember uh, uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas? Danny Elfman is one of the voices in that oh, thing. He? Okay. he has been around television movies. He has wrote one good piece of music after another, after yeah, another. He's, and he's, he's, he's been he, for his body work. Although Hans Zimmer has been around. Hans Zimmer has won all of these things. Hans Zimmer goes back to The Chariots of Fire. Oh, he, okay, so now it's Danny's time. Yeah, it's Danny. Okay. It's Danny. Which does happen. I mean, no. you're sitting here listening to us talk about that. This, they it, do it's that. his time. And we've got yeah. best original song, Ocean Picture, though. Bound to You in Burlesque, Coming Home in Country Strong, I See the Light Entangled, There's a Place for Us, Chronicles of Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and You Haven't Seen the Last of Me, Burlesque. It's probably going to be um, Coming Home in Country, country Strong because... Wow. Um, 
they didn't give Glennis Paltrow a, kind of a, a nomination oh. and she sings a song. Oh, so that's a way to kind of give it Yeah, and so that they can get her up on the stage singing the song, see? This, see, this is where they're playing to the audience. And I didn't even know Gwyneth Paltrow sang until I actually saw her yeah, movie uh, the other yeah, day. She sang. She did a movie where she played uh, um, her and the guy from Huey and the uh, News. Huey and the News. And Huey and Lowe's. Huey Huey and Huey and Huey basically, Lowe's. they were karaoke, karaoke performers. They would basically come up and they'd sing. She'd been singing all her life from what I understand. She's mm -hmm. sort of like, she's the hidden singer, like... Um, the the lady in Mamma Mia, Meryl Streep, who's got a voice like Meryl Streep. I mean, Meryl Streep. I was amazed. Well, her mother and I father no are opera singers. Meryl Streep can go from little girl to grown woman, that just was like that. Amazing. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, best television series drama, Boardwalk Empire. We already know the Boardwalk Empire is going to win. Judy has to so? say Dexter, the Good Wife, Mad Men, Walking Dead. Well, because the Boardwalk Empire is Martin Scorsese. They've gone, you know, and it is, it's just wiping everybody else out. Mad Men has had its run. It's been three years. It's, it's had it over and over, yeah. And The Walking Dead, they're not going to give a zombie movie. <laughs> Best performance by an actress in a television series drama. This would be, this would be a gimme, too. Juliana Margulies for The Good Wife. Elizabeth Moss for Mad Men. Piper Perigo for Covert Affairs. Yep. Katie Seagal for Sense of Anarchy and Kara Sedgwick for The Closer. This one should be, okay, Kara Sedgwick gets it every year. I think Katie Seagal because she's a comedy actress and she's playing a mean little bitch. Well, I bet they would love to give it to her. Well, actually, I'm surprised Piper Perigo's on there. God. Because I just... Uh, Piper Car Paraboo, they said Piper Paraboo only has one talent. She never shows it because well, nobody wants not to that it. it's, it's like I enjoyed watching her, but it didn't... It well, did she, not seem worthy of an award. Piper Paraboo sort of reminds you of a a, pouty, a younger pouty version of, um, <laughs> of the other actress. I can't remember what her name is from from uh, Chicago. Well, I think they, I, I agree with you on Katie only because it's just her time. It's, and she did Married with Children for all those years and did all that. And, and her this father is just is a Boris Segal, one of the great directors of all time. So it's yeah. her time. Just she steps out, does something. You know, she's playing an old woman too. So ooh, best performance by an actor. I told you, I said, well, I know who won this one too. Stephen Buscemi, <laughs> Boardwalk Empire, Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad, Michael C. Hall, Dexter, John Hammy, Mad Men, and Hugh Laurie House. Well, everybody else has won. Yeah, who? All of these have won for best performance by an actor. Okay, so who do you think is going to get it? It's going to be Steve Buscemi because of Boardwalk yeah. Empire. It's his time also. This is a veteran you actor. You know what? He's, he's been around for a long oh, time. Oh, basically... Has he won an award before? No. He basically, okay. he's done a lot of things on Broadway. He's done one-man shows and stuff to win. This guy is a veteran, veteran actor. Yeah, I mean, he is. You know, um, you know yeah. And basically, you see him just everywhere. I mean, he was a he was a really intellectual thing, and in, you know, when the world was going to be ended, and Bruce Willis saved the world by blowing the thing up. But um, television series, comedy or musical. Thirty Rock for NBC, The Big Bang Theory with CBS, The Big C Showtime, Glee on Fox, Modern Family ABC, and Nurse Jackie Showtime. Um, I would say Glee. No, it's going to be. You don't think Thirty Rock be the, again? It's going to be The Big C. Why? Because of um, it's it's basically it's a cable, and it's got Laura Lindley and Laura Lindley. Oh, that was her movie that she did. That's her. But everybody cover. seems to love Glee. They don't give Lee. Oh, give, they don't give it because people like it. They it's say it's popular. Choices. That's so, true. And best performance by an actress in a television series, comedy or musical: Tony Collette, Eddie Edie Falco, Tina Fey, Laura Lindley, Leah Michelle. Guess who wins that one, folks? Television series, best performance are probably Laura Lenny. Laura Lenny, and yeah. best performance by an actor in a television series, comedy, music, go. Alec Baldwin, 30 Rock, Steve Carell, The Office, Thomas Jane for Hung, Matthew Morrison for Glee, and Jim Parsons for The Big Bang Theory. It probably, they're not going to give it to Baldwin, nor Carell, and Thomas yeah. Jane not for playing Hung. And um, not Glee, so if you look who you're left with is the guy that's been. The Big Bang Theory, Jim yeah. Parsons. You know who's not on there is um, from Glee? You know the lady that plays the mean coach? Yeah, but, um, well, she's pissed off too many people. Oh, has she? Yeah. That's why? Best miniseries or motion picture made for television. Carlos, the Sundance Channel, The Pacific, uh, Pillars of Earth, uh, Temple Garden, and uh, You Don't Know Jack. Well, it's very simple. It's The Pacific. Oh, really? Well, I haven't seen any you know, of these. It's because of the fact that so much effort was put into, you know, like Band of Brothers and stuff on the, yeah. in, in the Easter, in the... Uh, 
in the European front, this is the same people that produced the thing. And it's also politically correct because Tom Hanks called everybody racist that were in that war that fought on our side. Oh, is that what that is? So it shows us as being racist. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. Best performance by an actress in the miniseries of motion picture made for television. Um, Haley, uh, well, Pillars of the Earth, Claire Danes for Temple Grandin, Judy Dench for Return to Crawford, Romola Garia for Emma, and Jennifer Love Hewitt for The Client List. Well, they said, despite the other people have more power and more punch, they owe it to Hewitt for 20 years. She's a kid actress that basically played uh, against, she doesn't play, she played a hooker, folks. Oh, and so she's playing against She's type. playing against her good, goody two-shoes type. So, yeah, she could be getting So it. they figured it out when we get best performance by an actor in a series made for television. I don't know who most of these people are. Uh, actually, we're not going to see Al Pacino get it. Why not? Dennis Quaid? He's not going to do it. Okay. He won't show up, so. Oh, Ian McCrimmon. Uh, Ian McShane, Pillars of Fire. Ian McShane's a veteran actor who's been around for a long mm. time. Uh, Dennis Quaid, the special relationship, and Edgar Ramirez. Basically, it's going to be probably Edgar Ramirez. Really? Well, because it's political correctness. Oh, and he's in a movie called Carlos. Yeah. Okay. As best performed by an actor, supporting role in a series, miniseries, of motion picture made for television. Hope Davis, a special relationship. There's the woman there, Jane. There Lynch. she is, Jane Lynch. Because they Kelly can, McDonald, Boardwalk Empire. Because they Judas can put her in a supporting Dexter, role. Sophia. So this one will win Sophia. Sophia from Modern Family. Family. Yeah, because she's hot at the moment. She's basically. They're still wanting her to run down the street naked like she said she But would. you know what, she, isn't the role that she's playing just like how she is, yeah. that role? Yeah, but she's ha remember she's the only Latin in the bunch. Julia oh. Stiles basically isn't going to get it. Kelly McDonald, the Boardwalk Empire, I think it won't because she's not that much known. They're not going to give it to Glee and Hope Davis, a special relationship, no. Okay. You know, uh, oh, here's one though. Best performance by an actor in a supporting role in a series, mini series, or motion picture made for TV. Oh, Scott Kahn. Yeah. Wow, Hawaii Five-O. Yeah, and you know, um, Chris Cole for Glee. Glee. Chris North, no, not from Modern Family, and David Stratahern, Temple Grandin. It's gonna be and Scott Eric. Kahn is playing against type. Scott Kahn is the only person on the show that is a beach person. I know, and he's playing like he's a city boy. And like a city boy, he's anything but. The guy who spent his life at the whole beach. Mm -hmm. So he's playing against type. So you so. think he's going to get it? Yeah. Okay. But we got, you know, like uh, winners of motion, we get the distribution companies. Sony's got 14 nominations, Weinstein 10, Fox 7, Paramount 7, Relative Media 6, Warner's 5, Focus 5, 4, Sony 4, 20th 4, Roadside See, 2, we get, we get all these ATO statistics. Pictures 1, Central Partnership 1, Lionsgate 1, You know what's surprising? Universal Magnolia only 1, has 1. And Universal 1, yeah. Why did you know this only have one? Because they, the only thing that they did in a bunch was um, Sunny with a Chance of Clouds. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. TV yeah. Networks, actually, HBO 12, Showtime 8, CBS 6, Fox 6, AMC 5, NBC 4, ABC 3, Stars 3, PBS yeah, 2. And then it goes on. Yeah, there. and so forth, because they, you know, most of these things don't stand a chance. And one of the budget nominations, it just, it just goes on and on. And probably in a series of programs for eight or nine. See, that's. That, that's basically, you've got our guesswork on everything now. See? Yeah. Now that's our, this is uh, a pun of view because uh, two reasons. One, they want people to tune in to watch the show and also political correctness has a lot to do in it. And they reward people for long, for basically people that should have gotten things earlier mm -hmm. but didn't. Michael Caine is a lock. Michael Caine's got to come we, up with um, Michael Michael Douglas. Douglas. He will end up with an award at the Golden we, Globe. We expect him to. Yeah, like I said. And uh, you know what? People would be very glad for him to get The key award. to Douglas getting the award is if his father is named one of the presenters. If his father is a presenter, he's going to come out. Like when they, uh, he gave his son the Special Academy Award for, uh, you know, like the Gene Herschel Award. He came out and he was very, you know, this is my son. Mm. Well, because... Fathers always want to see their sons do better than them, and Michael basically big powerhouse producer, got a hot wife who's won the Academy Award, you know, grandchildren, all of these things. So, but um, you know, we're going to have later this week we'll have the Screen Actors Guild's Award, and we'll be able to get them to you also with our ideas. You'll see how close the Screen Actors Guild and some of these categories are to what. There actually will be very close in a lot of the categories. They should, yeah, because Natalie, um, they said. The swan is basically going across the board on everything. They figured the swan is going to take, uh, because swan is a politically correct movie, and this is Hollywood. 
Mm-hmm. And they were. And Natalie Portman has won quite Natalie a few awards. Natalie Portman. She's a very well respected actress. She's basically been around since she was a little girl, you know. Uh, and um, they, she'd been in some movies that made a lot of, got off a lot of money. Most of the movies she makes don't make any money, mm-hmm. but she makes the little movies that the people, the critics like. And this is, these are these are news people that basically it's the film Hollywood film critics. I mean the foreign foreign press. Hollywood foreign press. Hollywood foreign press, and they are critics. So until we come back for the S A G award, this is old Cam. It's great actor skill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sag. I know. I, I, I was back in the SAG. <laughs> and this is not a spring chicken. These are our best guesstimates. Yeah, and we'll get this up on our We're website just so you can sit there and then, you know, you can basically have, you can print this off and see how close that we come when they give these awards. So, ooh, yeah. especially if you're doing contests, you know, because there's a lot of people that they have informal, they have viewing parties and they have fun and they just like see who can come closest. Yeah. Right. So. so this is a perfect thing for that. <laughs> <laughs> so meanwhile, thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. For more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net, and the new site is up and running. Yay! The old site is still there. If you go to info, you can attach on to the old site. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us and follow us daily on our 3D newscast.